Montreal may not have its own sobriquet. It unfortunately isn't known as the city of love or the big anything. However, I'd like to think its art and food make it worthy of a nickname of the sort. During the American Prohibition, people baptized it Sin City for its nightlife went unmatched. Although that nickname doesn't persist today, the clubbing and bars that make up the city continue to attract people from all over. Where some call Montreal the Paris of North America, others know it as the city of saints. To me, however, it is the city of great whining and dining. A metropolis where the emerging and long-standing artists intermingle constantly, and where people stay alive way into the night. For the first time in 19 years, I find myself loving my hometown and feeling excited to be here during the summer. Hope you enjoy watching me discover my own city in this one. For the moon and how she lights up the sky to What's your favorite cheese? Brie. I don't think I like cheese that much, actually. Oh, really? I feel like you're someone who would like cheese. I know. It should be part of my personality, but it's not. Oh, nice. That looks very good. Yeah. Maritino cherries. Now, Marado sour tastes like Maritino cherries.
this top I got in the mail. House of Sunny, baby. There we go. I took out the fluff. I feel like without the fluff, it's more my style. House of Sunny, thank you so much. It's so cool. And then I also got these Aloha loafers. They have a really cool business model where they're on demand, high fashion. So it's more like make to order. They also use sustainable materials and their shoes are my favorite. Tonight I'm going to Le Nid Bleu with Erica, which is an Ethiopian restaurant. I've never had Ethiopian food, but I've heard it's amazing and i looked online and they have these like plates like a big crepe and then they have like plenty of little things on it so i'm really excited to taste that i think it's gonna be really good and they have like a vegan plate too which is awesome which i'm excited to try dates are so much fun catching up with friends over a nice meal is just my favorite thing ever so i have been penciling in so many restaurants and i made this spreadsheet Amrita made one and sent it to me so i was like i need to do this for myself i feel like i should turn it into more than a spreadsheet make like a little blog some of my back because it's so much fun. I don't feel like I'm necessarily qualified to be writing stuff, but it's just like so much fun to do. And then I obviously like capture it on my camera, so that's also super fun. It's like a whole experience for me, and I really enjoy it. I have a couple Depop packages I have to ship out, so I'm gonna go do that, take care of that. I went out last night, which was like Ugh, rough on the body the day after drinking I just feel so ugh, so it'll feel good to walk a bit let's go do that All my packages are shipped. I've just been editing here. We got our loofah delivery, which is our groceries. And I found this inside. It's Club Kombucha Passion Fruit. I've never seen this brand. A cocktail that tastes like this, I would devour. It's so weird because even though I've been back for like three weeks and I'm settled back in, I still feel like I'm not here entirely. I'm just having a bit of a hard time being productive. When I'm on vacation, every day I get up, I get ready, and I go out and do things. I have been doing more of that. Every day I have like at least one plan, one thing that I do. I'll just go out at night to eat or get some cocktails with friends, which is really fun. But I feel like I want other activities. I need it to be that when I am home, I'm ha I have stuff like going on. I do go to the gym a lot, so that's like one thing that gets me out of the house. But like, I don't know. Started running again, and it feels so amazing to be active. All of last semester, I didn't move at all. Like, I took an occasional walk, but that's it. I lost my cardio. I was in terrible physical and mental shape. I was just not having a good time, and now that I'm moving more. It feels so good. Good. I'm just like in such a better mood. Sweating is just like really satisfying. You feel like you're expulsing all the shit from your body. For a long time, I was a very uptight person with allowing myself to have fun. Going out, I always restricted myself to like going out once a month in CJEP when I was studying really hard in science, wanted like the perfect R score. I probably went out four or five times my first semester. I just didn't really prioritize my well being. I'm realizing that it is possible to achieve a balance those things where I can do really well at school and in my work endeavors and have a fun time spend time with my friends it's just like finding that balance you don't have to make that many sacrifices Ugh, I don't even really need, know how to formulate it but I feel like I hit a point too where it's like I'm satisfied with being good but I don't need
need to be the best at everything, which is another thing that I have a hard time with. It is so unhealthy to think that way. And now I'm just like, I feel good about the work that I put out. I feel like I have a balanced life and I'm happy. Or we live in such a competitive society where it's like, if you're not the best, people feel like their work has no value. That's how I felt anyway. It's such a toxic way of going about life and like, no thanks, I'm over that. Now I just really need to finish this Paris video. The first episode of my Euro trip. Feels good to feel good about where you are in your life, even though you still have so many things you want to accomplish and you're not even close to being where you want to be. There's like an excitement attached to that yearning for things and working towards your goals. Anyway. My days are worldwide. Teddy Fresh. Okay, let's go. I've never been given a towel at a restaurant. Is it like to clean your hands? I think so, because like you eat with your hands. Oh, interesting. Caramelized veggies. Yeah. Hummus and like an aubergine thing underneath, I think. Salle de tomate. Try and that's nice. Okay, I won't watch. Okay, yeah, squirrels, fair enough. At home. <laughs> going to Barbara Vine. They have a Catri Pepe and I am so excited because I have not had that since I've been, well since I was in Italy and it's my favorite pasta. I did a little eyeliner but you can't even see it and I'm going with Lola who I haven't seen in so long so just I'm so excited. <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh, slay. I hate that I just said that. Beautiful. Thank you with the chain. And then I also got this from Nude Project. So cute. Thank you. We're gonna do a taste test. I'm matcha, which I've never had before. Wow. That's my new favorite one. dead basically i got home not that late but i'm just so tired all the time because i don't really sleep all that much lately i've been up late like editing and then other nights i'll go out and just stay out really late for no reason but last night was so much fun i had such a good time we went to dacha which i've never been i had never been to i didn't know but it's connected to a restaurant called le cabinet and has a super nice patio on le rie it's just such a nice spot and the food is amazing it was so much fun and then what's cool is there was live music then it turned into more of like a club vibe with a dj like house techno but i had one too many drinks so i just feel like shard today my body is just rejecting alcohol so hard lately and i'm not having it just so unpleasant it makes going out such a double edged edged oh my god sword where it's like i'm excited to go out because i want to have fun but then i'm like i don't really want to deal with the hangover so maybe i'll just stay in or i could also just not drink a lot which it's like apparently really hard for me to do. But anyway, it was so nice to see my friends again that I haven't seen in a long time, catch up. Literally my favorite thing, as I've said a thousand times, going for drinks, going for food. Yeah, it was such a nice night. I really had a good time. I went to ship out some Depop packages and now I have my journal and I wanna go sit down at a park and journal because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. I need to like get back in touch with myself because I feel, I feel like I am just an empty, like massive of a person right now. I just feel like my thoughts aren't thought through. I'm just like, I speak and I'm like, what are you saying? I was like rambling on the other day and I wasn't saying anything interesting and I felt like I was just talking to talk and I was like, you need to have a proper sit down with yourself and figure yourself out because this is not it. Even right now, I feel like my brain is empty and I feel like I'm not thinking a lot about things and I need to be like more in touch with myself and what's happening and just figure it out. I'm trying to also be more proactive where it's like, if I want to do something, just go and do it. I want to leave my house every day. That's another thing that I've been actually doing, which is good that was like a goal. I made goals when I came back from my trip and I was like, these are things I need to change in my life. I put on there leaving my house every day, which I've done actually. I always leave my house. Even if I spend most of the day at my house, I at least go out for a walk or I'll go out for dinner. Just anything, I at least leave once, which has literally changed my life. 
I'm in such a better mood. By the way, I got this kombucha. I'm trying pure kombucha. I still prefer rice because I prefer their flavors, but this one's really good. This is ginger turmeric because apparently turmeric is good for your gut health, I think. And after last night, I need a little gut health. But then on that list, sorry, scatterbrained. I also put exercising, which I've been doing. I put reading, which I've been doing. What else did I put? Drinking water, which I've been doing. I don't really like water. I actually hate it. So that's progress that I actually drink liquids other than matcha. Case in point. I feel like leaving my house at least once a day forces me to get ready a little bit and not be a slob. And anyways, it's so nice out that I want to go take advantage. Also, I'm going to stop at Rachel, no, at uh, Renault Brie to pick up a new agenda. I think it ends in August, so I want to have anyone on deck. I'm excited to just sit in a park and like be alone with my thoughts. Right, it'll help me feel like I have my life together because being in my room, my room is also never clean. I'll always clean it and then I just like leave a couple of things out and then those couple of things become more things and I'm just like, I'm over it. So when I get back, I'm gonna clean that up, like actually clean it up. I want it to be literally perfect so that I have to keep it that way. I'm done. And then tomorrow, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm going out to dinner with the fam. I'm kind of forcing my family to go out to dinner all the time because there are a thousand restaurants I want to try and I need people to come with me. And it's a good family, it's family time. Also, piston broke. Shout out Lola. The whole fit is piston broke. Shorts too. Okay, let's go. Okay.